everyone. So before we begin with today's topic, I uh, just want to introduce our speakers for today's talk. Uh, today's talk will be on the overview of execution and the bankruptcy process by Mr. Abhinash and also Ms. Babinia. Uh, Ms. Babinia is somewhere. Lah, huh? <laughs> Most of you will know who she is. Ah, hi, Mr. Babinia. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there are different modes of execution. So on your slide here, there are a few. Uh, bankruptcy, judgment debtor summons, garnishy, equitable execution, winding up, charging order, and writ of seizure and sale. So we, we're not going to make it very legalistic. We're going to make it uh, a bit practical for you to explain to you what it is and what it entails. Um, I will be dealing with the first part, which is quite an interesting part. It's not ex actually an execution mode, but it's really helpful before you move into uh, execution. Because even if you think that um, you've got a judgment against a person for, say, a million dollars, but you aren't sure or you are sure or maybe certain that he's already dissipated his assets. It's gone. The one million has gone out of the country. It's gone out by to buy maybe assets. Okay. Or... On the other hand, you may not know what he has. For example, you're not sure. You look at him having a lavish lifestyle, but he may not have anything. You aren't sure. So this mode actually is quite useful in bankruptcy, which is my favorite area. Um, the, the governing provisions are there, Insolvency Act 1967 and the Insolvency Rules 2017. Um, under the Act, there are many, many ways in which an act of bankruptcy can come about. Um, but for today's focus, we'll just be focusing on the main one, which is uh, Section 3, Sub 1, Sub I of the Act. And uh, I've reproduced the entire section. There's a bit more to the section, but I've reproduced it there. But briefly, it, what it says is that upon a final judgment being obtained, let's say for 100000 you are served with a bankruptcy notice. And in that bankruptcy notice, it states you are to pay me 100000 within uh, seven days. And if you fail to do so, what happens is you would have committed an act of bankruptcy. So... So uh, that will be all for today's session. Thank you to both our speakers.